Everybody's seen a plane take off, but not everybody knows just how it works. Well, what is it that makes an airplane fly? Well, the answer is something called Bernoulli's principle, which says that the faster air moves, the lower the air pressure. When a plane is at rest, air pressure's the same on both sides of the wing. But as the plane accelerates, the design of the wing forces the air on top of the wing to move faster than the air on the bottom. Bernoulli's principle says that produces lower pressure on the top of the wing, higher pressure below. That higher pressure pushes the plane into the air. Bernoulli's principle also explains this old trick where we use a jet of air to hold a little ball up above it. We've got a blower here and a jet here, and as the air rushes up here, we'll turn it on in a moment, we have high-speed flow and hence low pressure. All around it, we have low-speed flow and hence high pressure. So there's, an there's going to be an invisible cylinder of high pressure around it, and that's what will hold the ball steady in the jet of air. Now, if the principle works, it would still work if we tilted the nozzle. Absolutely. Let's tilt. I think it's quite surprising now. You'd say, why doesn't gravity pull it down out of the stream? And indeed it does, a little, but then its underside is in this high-pressure region around the outside, and that holds it up.